Hi there. The following video will introduce some of the basic rules we use when using index notation. First of all, consider um, this multiplication on the left hand side here. Now, what have we got? Well, we've got 3 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3. That's the base number 3 multiplied by itself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So this would be 3 to the power of 5, multiplied by the base number 3, multiplied by itself twice, 3 squared. However, on the other hand, well actually, the brackets here, you can almost ignore these brackets here and here, and really what you've got yourself is 3 multiplied by itself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. So all of that is also equal to 3 to the power of 7. Well then, 3 to the power of 5 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2 gives us 3 to the power of 7. You may spot a pattern there. And in general, put any number to the power of, say, n multiplied by the same base number to, the, to a different power, say, m, the answer you will get is a to the power of n. Plus n. You can add the indices if you are multiplying base numbers that are the same to varying uh, indices. Okay, let's move over to this example on the right hand side here. Well, we have a fraction here. What do we have? 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. That is 3 multiplied by itself 5 times. And we're dividing that by 3 multiplied by itself twice. So i.e. what we've got is 3 to the power of 5 divided by 3 to the power of 2 or 3 squared. However, um, given that we've got 3's multiplying by itself on the top and bottom of this fraction, we can actually divide top and bottom by one of the 3's and divide top and bottom by the other 3. And actually what we're left with is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3, which is actually 3 to the power of 3. And looking here, you can spot what the rule is going to be. If you take any base number and raise it to the power of, say, n, and you divide it by the same base number to the power of, say, m, then what you can do is you can subtract the indices, a to the power of n minus n. Okay, let's formalise this on the following page. Here's the multiplication rule for indices. If you are multiplying when the base number is the same, then you can add the indices, but the base number must be the same. Remember that. And when you are dividing two sets of indices where the base number is the same, you can subtract the indices. Okay, let's have a go at a few examples. 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 11. The base number 2 is the same, so we can just add the indices or exponents. This must be 2 to the power of 14. Example 2. 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 6. Well, that must be 3 to the power of 3 plus 6, which is 9. The next one we can do with algebra as well. p to the 5 multiplied by p to the 3 must be p to the 8. Example 4, 3 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 6. Hold on a minute, the base number is not the same here. So there is nothing you can do, no indice rule you can use here to simplify matters. Do not do something like this is 3 times 2 is 6 to the power of 9. Some students would do that, that is not the correct answer. The base number is not the same, so you cannot use this rule. Let's quickly do a few divisions. 2 to the 11 divided by 2 to the 3. When we're doing division and the base number is the same, subtract the powers. This must be 2 to the power of 11 minus 3, which is 8. 3 to the power of 3 divided by 3 to the power of 6 must be 3 to the power of 3 take away 6, which is 3 to the minus 3. And the last one, p to the 5 over p to the 3. That means p to the 5 divided by p to the 3. Well, we can just take away the indices again because we're have the same base number, that must be p to the power of 5 minus 3, which is 2. Thank you.